Hello. I'm gonna get like this like mom guilt. It's okay with my washing skills. This will be shorter in no time. That's nice. I'm pretty sure I'm English right. is not my first language. Uh, yeah, like that. Smile. Oh wait, <laughs> so, this one wants a turn. Cheese. <laughs> We're not getting a fiddle leaf thing. We will kill it. We just came back from church. And we also just came back a week ago from Mexico, which is now my new personality trait. Bring it up every, every, every chance I get. Um, I wanna tell you about our trip. It was super duper fun, I think. I posted a video of it last week. We're fun. We went on a little island. We went to two places in Mexico. We went on a little island called Alvash. And then we went down to Tulum, and it was super fun. Right now what I'm doing is I'm making like a little gift basket for a friend. I'm a big gift giver. That is my love language. So I thought I would talk to you about our trip and do this simultaneously because there's some goodies I got for her that I thought some of you would appreciate. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this aesthetic for you, okay? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. He's just playing a game. <laughs> Nobody's walking around hitting him with ropes. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy the view of our toilet. Over there, we're remodeling our bathroom. Philip's motivation to finish it has run out. We're gonna go for vibey vibes with this basket. See what kind of vibey vibes we get. Malish, more like a t-shirt, but Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Start off with tissue on the bottom. I always start my gift baskets with especially ones that are like a little bit more like to uplift people with like cozy pajamas. I thought this color was so friggin' cute. Every year we go somewhere in the winter because our winters are horrid here. And this winter was not horrid, surprisingly. So we were like, don't really need to go anywhere. It's all right. And then, you know when like everybody gets sick during the winter? We went through that. It was like a month long. And then the kids started feeling better and I was like, that's it. Like we gotta get them somewhere with like vitamin D. I just like almost all of a sudden get like this like mom guilt at the end of the winter where I'm like, my children are not thriving. Like <laughs> they're not getting any vitamin D, they're not getting any vitamin C. I feel like we like overload them with vitamins from like, you know, packaging and stuff like that. But they're just not outside. I just got like mom guilt that they're like just living their life in their rooms. So I went online. And somehow I found super cheap flights to Cancun. They were not good flights, <laughs> but I was like, man, like I can do this. Like I can spend this money on it right now. We can afford this, like let's go. So I decided let's go to Mexico. And remember two years ago when I was, I surprised Philip with his Greece trip, but we were actually supposed to go to Mexico. I planned a whole itinerary like a fake itinerary so i had things like planned and i went on airbnb and it was like the place that i wanted to stay with philip was available so i'm like duh like meant to be we are going i booked everything the day before we left so it was like <laughs> there was no planning involved uh we just kind of like packed up in our suitcases and we were off for a week our first stop was Albash. Albash is like this tiny little island above Cancun. I'm gonna give you the deets. We flew into Cancun. You know when you leave the airport, it's like chaos. It's mayhem. Everybody's screaming at you. They're like, text, 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 text. I had tickets on the autobus. Autobus is like their main public transportation. From Chiquila, no, from um, Cancun to Chiquila, which is the port. Turns out the um, where we were supposed to catch the bus was not the airport station, it was the downtown station. So we had to find a bus to take us from the airport to down Chiquila, to downtown Cancun to take us to Chiquila at the port. That was an adventure uh, that took like four hours because we had to wait for our bus. Then we had a two hour bus ride to Chiquila, took a ferry, from the ferry we go to the island island we take a golf cart because there's no cars to our airbnb we made it we made it like towards 7 p.m it was a very long day because we also had to spend the night in texas the night before i told you these flights are not good um but they were cheap <laughs> so we did all that albash is amazing it's the next 
what is it called? Bali. I think it's a nice Bali. It is so beautiful. It's like preserved nature. It's so, I don't know. I just like, it was the best beach we've ever been to. And we've been to like a lot of places. We travel pretty frequently. Best beach I've ever been to. We were swimming. There's just like manta rays right next to you. Um, fish, just the most clean, insane water ever. It does feel a little bit underdeveloped still with like the road situation. You have to bike everywhere. Um, but I feel like in five years, that place is going to be so freaking expensive because around us, there was like tons of construction going on with like new villas and they're building these massive, incredible villas. They're like millions of dollars. So I'm pretty sure that's what the targeted audience is for that space. So if you want to go, go now. Albash is amazing. We really want to go back. But then it's not like a relaxing, relaxing type of vacation because you're still like, we had to bike everywhere. It's a little bit more like, you know, you gotta, you gotta walk. <laughs> um, but it was fun with the kids. But you know, like any vacation is not really a vacation with the kids. It's just a different place to parent. But then the night before, Wow, I'm getting really far with this gift basket. The night before we um, got to our Airbnb and a certain someone got the stomach flu. And if you know us, the stomach flu is very consistent in all of our travels for children. So it just felt like, I felt like Job in the Bible. <laughs> like, why is this me? Why does this keep happening to me? Because if you're like, I'm like trying so hard to be a good mother and provide sun and warmth to my children and they just they just they just get sick or they have tantrums and it's just it's part of life you know but in the moment it felt awful because the day after we had our drive from Albash, Chiquila, four hour drive down to Tulum. Anyway, uh, we survived that. We got down to Tulum and we stayed like a resort there. Beautiful, beautiful spot. It was the Hilton in Tulum. Beautiful, beautiful. I have nothing bad to say about it. It was absolutely amazing. Great place to stay with the kids. I'm so glad we went to our resort after doing our little endeavor on the island because I feel like we actually got to relax with the kids because there was like a water park for the kids and things like that. And it just like, you didn't have to like go out of your way to find food either and you know how it is to like eat with kids in restaurants it is something else so it was nice and we spent three days there so like four days in Abash and three days in Tulum and then we came home and we are now home and we're tanned and we're happy and you know during the vacation I was kind of like we're never doing this again with the children because it's hard but then I came home and now Philip and I are like oh my gosh let's go again <laughs> That was so fun. <laughs> Core memories created, but in like the thick of it, you're just like, you are never leaving this house ever again. Um, I also got her this book. It's called Practicing Thankfulness, um, Cultivating a Grateful Heart in All Circumstances by Sam Crabtree. I started this book when we got back on Monday. It is now Sunday. I think I'm on chapter four incredible way of thinking about gratitude and thankfulness in a Christian standpoint. I especially liked the second chapter where he talked about, um, you know how like during Thanksgiving we all give thanks and being like thankful, giving thanks is an action. It's like a verb. And he's like, you can't just be thankful to nobody. You know, everything you have is because of God. It's because of everything he has given you, his blessings, things like that. So when People just say, oh, I'm so thankful, but who are you thinking? You know, so it just got me like to think about like, because you know we have to have gratitude in our hearts and sometimes it's a little bit hard to remember that we really are nobody without him. So this was a great book for myself personally. So like when I read it, started reading the first chapter, I was like, I'm gonna get this for her too because I'm currently enjoying it. So hopefully she will too. I'm just gonna write like little notes with all the items. I think that's sweet when somebody opens up the gift basket, not only are they receiving items, but also if you do like little notes with each item and why you picked it, I think it makes it a little bit more personal. <laughs> just trying a few dresses on there's this guy it's kind of cute it has like a separate slip 
goes down. Not sure on the length on me. I usually don't like it when things hit like right mid calf, but it's okay with my washing skills. This will be shorter in no time. Showing you everything. And I realized I wasn't recording. Got a Zara package. I haven't shopped in Zara for a while, but their spring stuff is cool. Did get this romper. Don't worry, I haven't tried it on yet, so I'll try it for you. This vest goes like that, and then you can make it tighter here. I like that it has this drawstring, and then you can just cinch it in the waist. Been getting quite a few vests because I'm in my equestrian, equestrian era because I am starting um, horseback riding lessons school soon, which I'm super excited about. I have signed up for them in January. I've um, been counting down the days when I start. It is, I literally talked to you, um, talked Philip's ear off the past couple months. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna get certified in riding, I think it's English style saddle. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I think I get a cool helmet and I get to be with horses and I get to do that, which I'm very lucky. I just, my New Year's resolution when I was, when it was New Year's, I was like, I just want to try stuff. You know, I'm at the age where I'm like, I'm not a teenager anymore. <laughs> I'm closer to 30 than I am to being 19. And now is the time to try stuff because I like my body is still youthful. I can still do activities and I should just do them if I want to. And these are like adult lessons, which is actually more difficult to find because some lessons that are closer to us are like it's an integrated group with like children. <laughs> so you go from like 12 year olds to like 50 year olds. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if I want that. So this is just like an adult only group, only like I think four people in the class. And I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm excited. So that is why I've been buying vests because I think I need them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try on this rubber. This is kind of sweet. I like that it's a high neck and that the back is covered. There's like a... There's a button here that I need to button that I cannot reach to button. I like this little thing. I like that it's shorts. That's nice. And they're not too short and I like that they're not tight. You gotta go super fast though. Super speed. Super speed. Ow! My foot, I can't run because my foot <laughs> is our barista in training. Whenever he hears us turn on the coffee maker, yeah. books it, yeah. books it to it. So it's a coin chill, Malish. Do Slasha, do Slasha, dai mai mi coffee. Me Dai, please. He knows how to press all the buttons, which one is for grinding, for the espresso, and for the milk. So cute. He's making it, Papa, I'm excited. Good job! Ты крутишь? Молодец! Wow! It's really pretty. Can you stand over there, please? I want to take a picture. It's super pretty. The light is really pretty. Yeah, like that. Smile! Awesome. Oh, wait. <laughs> this one wants to turn. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Good job. Good. That's good. That looks perfect. Good job. Good morning. We are solo today. The children are um, at grandparents and we're having a little day date. Um, good, thank you. Starting off of a car wash, yeah. as always, I don't know what it is about males, especially males in this family. Car washes are a big deal. And then we're gonna go eat at this. Basically this morning we're gonna do everything that we cannot do when we have little children. Or like we can do, but it'll be very stressful. Um, we're going to a cafe, get some coffee. And we are very much morning date people. We don't really go out to eat in the evenings. First of all, we have a very early bedtime. Um, second of all, we just kind of have a thing for 
coffee shops. That's the only places we go when we were dating because we were Hello. very young and very broke and we could not go out to dinners. So we went to coffee shops. Remember all of our coffee shop dates when we yeah. were younger? Yep. And sometimes I wouldn't get a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I would! So we're gonna go do that and then afterwards we're gonna go to Mother Co which is like a plant store here but it's a very vibey plant store it has a lot of like very specialty plants and i really want a cactus i told you after we came out from mexico it is my personality now they had so many cactuses everywhere and i just think it would look so cool if we got a cool cactus cacti, cacti. That's plural. really not cactuses i'm pretty sure I'm english right about is that. not my first language uh, i think the one thing i know myself a little mini purse because I always have like a humongous purse for like all the kids stuff got this little cutie one it's like phone keys all the necessities a few Hot Wheel cars <laughs> But it's already sold. Kind of reminds me of prickly pears. The little, little flowers. We're not getting a fiddle leaf fig. We will kill it. Mm -hmm. I like it. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Chef Valera Gold Capella. Because it'll eventually end up in the kitchen, like our dining area. How do you feel? It's like walking out of the hospital with your baby. Except this is cheaper. Yes. Buckle on a man. We bought a baby cactus. We wanted to get a big prickly pear, like that one that you guys saw. It was like five foot tall. Very beautiful. Had like buds on it and things like that. Um, and it was pretty, like for the size, it was pretty good. But somebody already bought it. They did tell us that on April 2nd, they're going to have another shipment and they will have more prickly pears. So instead of just like buying another, because we want like a big plant, another plant that I wasn't so like crazy about, we're going to wait and hopefully in a week we will be parents of a five foot prickly pear cacti. A teenager cacti. A teenager. It's funny, we got like the little one and Philip was asking the dude behind the counter and he's like, so like how long will it be until this one can be as big as that one? Like a couple years. And the dude's like, yeah, probably more than that. I was like three years. He's like, yeah, maybe like five, six. <laughs> cool. uh, not in your generation. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited about that. Everybody was super nice in there and everybody was very helpful. I did ask some like tips because I've never had a cactus before no, that has lived. Um, a booklet. Got a little book with. Take care of a cactus. So yeah, because in our style of house, like we're going for a little bit more of like a villa, Mediterranean, vibey. Just so, like having like a like a cactus just makes sense. Now we are off to. I want to show Philip this little antique shop I found in Saint Paul, just to kill time. Before we need to go get our treasures. Very nice. Philip has been very good about encouraging me to do this. I've been very good today, guys, <laughs> in general. I'm a very good guy today. It's so awkward to take pictures and vlog in public. Like, I just <laughs> shut down. But this one is <gasps> carrying the camera around <gasps> and filming. <sighs> so yeah, thank you for your support. This lady is fabulous. I want to be just as fabulous. <laughs>